Hey, honey, it's Justina here. I'm hoping everybody's having a great day. And I don't know if you're viewing this. And, honey, so I'm recording this on July the 3rd. It's, um, what, Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. Right before the 4th of July. And if you hear anything, oh, damn, I'm about to spill that sweet tea. You know, I can't spill that shit. So, if you hear any noise right behind me, it's the fireworks. It's boom, boom, booming. So, I don't know if you're in your town. It goes off starting July 3rd, but I don't know. So, I was going to get the Ragu burger that they had at Arby's today. So, we're doing Arby's mukbang. Let me turn the background. Alright, so we're doing Arby's. So, we got the large order of, of uh, curly fries. Look. They don't fill them. They don't fill them up to the damn top anymore, it seems like. And there's none in my bag. I've already checked. Might be one or two down there. And I don't eat Arby sauce. I don't know why the hell he put that shit in there. Um, so this is the brisket sandwich. Damn, that brisket looks like... Looks like it's been cooking for damn 20 hours. There it is, honeys. Look at that. Looks so freaking good. So, we got that. We got the large order fries. I think that's about it. So, that's all we're doing tonight. We're doing the brisket. Um, But, yeah, honey, I've been doing great. So, Sam and I got back from Chattanooga. I think you guys watched the mukbang that we did at Bucky's. That was pretty good. I love that mukbang. I love me some Bucky's. Um, Chattanooga was great. The show was great that Chelsea and... Mama Libby and Beth and Tina put on. Oh, my God. It was so freaking good. And it was great hanging out with them. Um, what else? Okay, so I had to go outside and walk the babies, right? Walk Tilly and Gary. The next thing I know, I'm sitting outside taking pictures with fans. And there's this woman. Um, I guess it was this person's mama. She was outside. And girl, let me just say, when, I, when she was drunk, honey, she was drunk. She came out, blah, 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 blah. I was like, looking at her like, the fuck? I was like, maybe I need to, uh, I'm just going to take them on back. So, I know I'm just spilling all the tea, ain't I? So, I don't know if you're watching this, whoever you were. But, yeah, I saw it. And she cussed her mom out left and right. Like, I would never cuss my mom out like how she done. In front of like 30 or 40 people that stand outside. And, um, she was doing that. Her mama got up and they were all walking away. The next thing I know, I'm holding, I'm holding, um, Gary and this woman walks by the mama, right? And she said, she kisses me. I'm like on the cheek now, not on the mouth. Cause I wouldn't be having that shit. So she was like, I was like, whew, okay then. And then I, then I hear the, um, girl at the bottom, you don't even know that person. I was like, oh my goodness, what the hell I got myself into? So it was really crazy, but Chattanooga fans turned up, turned out. They were like one of the best crowds yet. I freaking loved it. Atlanta one was amazing as well that they did last month. Um, what else did we do afterwards? So after that, we headed back, um, to Athens, Georgia we headed um, from Chattanooga to Athens, and we watched the Elvis movie at 12 o'clock. We had to get there in time. So, we got up about 7 to 7.30 in Chattanooga and left and got to Athens about 12. We watched the Elvis movie. God, it was like 2 hours and 40 minutes, but hell, honey, it was freaking worth it. So, we had fun watching it. One of my best parts about it is was when Elvis fired the colonel. The Elvis got tired of colonel shit. And I, can, and I don't blame them because, you know, if you put me through all that stress that I've been put through, I've been put on drugs because, you know, of having to do constant shows, like two shows a night, and you don't know when you're going to sleep, you don't know when you're waking up, and you're just serving me for your own debts. Um, you know, this movie made Elvis seem like the superstar that he was, that he was already is. Austin Butler, let me just say, did a fabulous freaking job as playing Elvis. Um, I think Olivia LeJohn, I think that's her name. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I know her name's Olivia. She played an amazing Priscilla Presley. Um, 
they all did a great job. Tom Hanks did an amazing job as a colonel. And, you know, I think this was like, I don't want to say the first time that Tom Hanks ever played a bad guy in a movie. But when he played this role, he played this role. I don't know how long it had to take Tom Hanks to play the colonel. But let me just say, freaking good. Um, What else? So, after that, we went to see that show. And that was like 12 o'clock. We got out maybe 2.30. And guess what? Not even five hours later, I went back and watched it again. So, overall, a week's time, I've watched it three times. Like, the other night, I watched it with my brother and his mama. That was freaking good. Um, so, every time I watch it, it gets better and better and better. Um, so, I'm going to watch it again this coming Tuesday. I know it's fourth or fifth time that I'm going to watch it. I might watch it two times on Tuesday because, hell, they got $5 movie tickets. So, you never know. So, I love me some freaking Elvis. This movie is, like, top-notch. I cannot wait till after, like, this week. I'm going to freaking pre-order that movie. Plus, it'll be on HBO Max, like, in August. So, I can't wait to watch that. I noticed I haven't not ate yet. So, they had the meats. So, we're going to try this meats out. We got the meats. Oh, yeah. So, what the hell's on, on here? Just a brisket? Okay, a brisket and barbecue sauce. And I think that's about it. What the fuck? This is a smokehouse, and it only has... Okay, it's got the cheese at the bottom as well. Okay. So, there's the thumbnail. Okay, we're going to try this out. Yep, this shit is dry as fuck. <laughs> They better, be glad, they better be glad I'm just freaking hungry. I just got off work, too. Thank God I worked a mid-shift. That's where I can go to Arby's and try this out. I was going to try the Ragu burgers out, the new ones, but they said, oh, well, we're sold out. Everything I want, like the other week it was um, chicken, the chicken fries at Burger King. They were sold out. Now it's the Ragu Burgers at freaking Arby's. I think it's called Wagyu. Ragu, Wagyu. Mmm. Damn, honey, these fries are freaking good. And I don't usually eat curly fries. Okay. Mmm. So good. I believe I'm going to have this sweet tea all gone by the time the end of the video. So, I did another questionnaire on Instagram. So, here we go. We're going to answer some questions from fans on Instagram. Number one, are there going to be more Baby Oopsie episodes after the second season? So, you guys, second season starts July the 15th. That is going to be not this coming Friday, but next Friday. Yes, we will make more if you guys are interested in it. If you guys, you know, give this movie a high rating, as it should be. It is a high rating movie because we put our all, everything into it. So, it's going to be really good. Ooh, it's going to be that damn good, okay? Um, but, yeah, baby oopsie. We will do more if you guys want us to do more. If you guys crave it like I crave it all the time. Like, Baby Oopsie, I've watched that shit maybe like 20, 25 times. So freaking good. The first two. So now we're about to go into the second season. And then, hell, if we get renewed, it's going to be the third season. I can't freaking wait. So fans, please give us a high rating movie. And tell us your favorite part. What is your favorite part? Because it's going to be four episodes. And it's going to be lasting all over, I think, every week that you're going to... I'm talking too fast. Every week, you guys will be getting a new episode for Baby Oopsie. Until August 15th, I think. Or whatever the second week in August is. But yeah. Um, if you guys think that Baby Oopsie is something. Honey, she brought friends this time. Can you believe it? That doll brought friends. And I ain't talking about Chucky, but. The friends are something else, too. You guys are going to freaking love it. I can't wait to show you guys. Number two, what would you rate your food today from 1 to 10? If I had to rate that burger, 
not burger, shit, I, I wouldn't even call that a burger. If I had to write that piss poor meal, I'd probably write it at a 5 out of 10. The meat's not even juicy. Um, what else? The cheese, it's not even like really cheese. Like, all I see is like really barbecue sauce. That's about it. The cheese is like somewhat melted and somewhat not. I hate that. The fries are really good. I love the fries. They're kind of cold. But I ain't complaining about the fries like I am complaining about that brisket sandwich. So that's what my um, rating is. Number three. Ooh, I love this question. What is your favorite gym video that you have done with Cousin Tammy? I can say I've actually loved all of them. But the most of me that stands out will be the breakfast one. When me and her did it at McDonald's. That was really funny. Plus the Cheeto chicken sandwich. That was another funny one. And I won't ever forget the one that we did in Texas. And I said, ride him like a cowboy. God, I love it. That was another good one. So, like, they always have, like, parts of it that I freaking love. But if I had to choose one, it would probably be the breakfast one. Where I'm um, doing the pancakes and I said, that'll make your pussy throb. That video. Hell, I must be thirsty. I'm drinking the hell out of that sweet tea. Number four. What do you think of Austin Butler as Elvis? Let's just say he did a fantastic job. I know a lot of people are going to say that, hey, he didn't look nothing like Elvis. Okay, we get it. He doesn't look nothing like Elvis. But the main point, he got the message across to people. How he was treated by the colonel. Um, what happened when Elvis, um, when Elvis and the Colonel, all the bat story shit that they, that broke down to firing Elvis, I mean, to firing the Colonel, and then, um, to his, through his last performance, so, like, you get everything up from the 6-8 comeback special all the way to the, um, what? The 77 show. The last show that Elvis did on con on tour. Until his death. You guys get that. Um, but it skips a part, it skips around. It's a good movie. If you guys have not watched it, go freaking watch it. But yeah, Austin Butler did an amazing job. Like all the quarterograph. Quarterograph. Um, what the hell do you want to call it? He did a fantastic job of doing the 6-8 comeback special. The Vegas Elvis. Suspicious Minds, all that. Plus, he sung all the 50 hits by himself. No Elvis. No backtrack. No lip syncing. He sung all the 50s Elvis by himself. And it was freaking good. And for a minute there, like, I was listening to Trouble by Austin Butler. And I'm just sitting there, and, he blo and it's blowing my mind. Because, you know, I've heard it on Apple Music. Plus, you know, I listened to the whole soundtrack before going to the show. Sitting there watching it live, you know, not live, but sitting there watching it in the movies, it just, oh, it just electrified me. It was like, hell yeah, let's do it again. That's how it was. So that's the reason why I had to go back the second time, because I had to get my thrill again. Um, But number five, least favorite restaurant ever that you've ever visited. Well, let's just say this. I don't like going to um Crystal's. I don't know why. I guess their burgers are too damn small and their little small medium fry is not getting it, okay? But I do love, you know, because, um, hell, it takes at least about five or six crystals to fill me up. Not going to lie. But I don't like it, though. And it's not one of the restaurants say, ooh, let's go there. I'm, mm -mm. You better have a Waffle House. You better have a IHOP or a McDonald's or somewhere that, or hell, even a buffet. I would go to a Chinese buffet all freaking day. So, that. So, that was the questions for today. But also, I have another picture to show you guys. So, one of my um, fans slash, he does um, my artwork for me and stuff. He, did, he sent me this in the mail and I freaking love it. Him and his mom. So, it says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang it up. And I've, I've already showed it on, I think, um, Instagram. But it says, hey, honeys, there ain't nothing like some good old sweet tea. 
I'm hanging this shit. I'm putting it on my freaking wall. I love it. I freaking love this. Look at the hay honeys in the heart. Oh my goodness. I freaking love it. I'm putting that in the middle. In the mirror. I'm putting that in the middle of my room. And hanging it up. Because I love it so much. Um, is that it today? I believe so, honeys. I think this is all. Like I said, I'm going to back and see the Elvis movie this coming um, Tuesday. On my day off. Uh, what else? Probably going to Golden Crowl as well because I love that buffet. Especially getting all the steaks for like $15. Shit, can't beat it. So, alright, honey. So, next time, I love you. Keep saying you. Stay beautiful and stay strong. Let's get to 100K by the end of the year. So, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to be notified when I post my next video. I'm also on Cameo if you guys want a personal shout out. It's great for a, your friends, your family, your loved ones. Birthdays, anniversaries, or just cheer somebody up, or hell, even roasting somebody. So go ahead and click that link in the description box below as well. All my socials, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, all that stuff, and Snapchat in the um, description box below. That's about it. I love you, honeys. Keep saying you. Stay beautiful and stay strong. Mwah. Love y'all. Bye, honeys.